Hello everyone, Surreal Canon here with more La Milana 2. It's, uh, it's been a while since my last recording. Also, this is way too loud in my headphones. That's better. <laughs> so, <coughs> last time, uh, it's, yeah, it's been about five days since my, uh, last recording just because my, uh, my Wednesday through, uh, Friday schedule is, uh, kind of full of stuff and, uh, and uh, yesterday, which was Saturday, I uh, went to an amusement park over a hundred miles away with some friends. We stayed there pretty much the whole day, and uh, I, but I am back. So yeah, last time, we, uh, we not only did we clear out the uh, guardian of the roots of Yggdrasil, we also got ourselves a grapple claw from the ice fire treetops. So yeah, pretty cool. Also, I am playing this game now on my uh, handy new Xbox One Elite controller. Got really lucky to find us at GameStop. So, um, yeah, that is what is up. Being said, uh, let's take advantage of our handy new controls and uh, go kill ourselves. It's pretty great. So uh, yeah, I have no idea where no idea where our uh, journeying will take us today, but I guess we are just gonna have to find out. Let's lower the volume a little bit. That was, uh, slightly embarrassing. So, yeah. Uh, gonna take a little bit of getting used to here compared to, uh, what I've been using, which was, a uh, DualShock 4. Or, actually, no, I was using the, uh, my, uh, Logitech F310. So, uh, this is a big improvement, even though it's still gonna take a little bit of getting used to to the uh, positioning of the D-pad. Yeah, let's uh, head on back to the roots of Yggdrasil now. And uh, see what's up. Now then, uh, since we have the Grapple Claw, there are probably places besides uh, Ice Fire we could go to, but I wouldn't be able to tell you where exactly they are. Let's see if, uh, I forget the name of this NPC here, but uh, since we saved her husband, his soul is no longer here. Where is it gone? Alright, that's... Uh... Well, we did manage to save him from uh, from a hell of poison, so I guess there's that. And I totally forgot that was there. Did you know, video gamers? I am kind of an idiot sometimes. That looked like it might be slightly significant, but I guess in the end it was not. Shuriken for our troubles here. Let's go down to the bottom and uh, see what we can uncover down here. Uh, he has sworn a solemn oath to his mother that he uh, won't give up. Also, I'm glad I uh, got out from under that. That could have been ugly. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's always a hazard of a blind let's play that sometimes you just get a uh, stuck and don't know where you're going. This is uh, this is for the length of time that we don't have yet. Wasn't there a seal 
somewhere around here that you could undo once you kill the guardian. Also, there's also this room below me that I just have not figured out yet. You can't break it with shurikens, so they just won't let you. Mimir. Hmm. Encanting in front... We may need a mantra. Assuming uh, mantras are not uh, totally an endgame thing like they were in the first game. This is the seal. What's through here? Divine Fortress. Einherjar. I've heard of those from uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> Spirits of powerful warriors assembled for the coming of the end. They were originally gathered at Valhalla, but were later dispatched to the Divine, Divine Fortress to attack the Aesir. They displayed their power only at the command of the Valkyrie. When the bodies turned red, they become invincible. Shoot at the figure before you. New message! That bluish glow is the ruin's famous barrier. It's a sizzling little trap that grills up any living thing passing through it. Hmm? Something wasn't alive it might be able to get through. Like steel or something. Sure can might go through if you try tossing one over. Way to, way to spoil a puzzle, Mr. Guy. We got a hint relating to that. Okay, that clears out the fortress. Or, not the fort. That clears out the barrier. These murals are interesting, but I uh, can't scan them. There's a relief in the wall over there that's pretty interesting, but again, can't do anything about it. So yeah, new area altogether. Let's check this place out. What was that? A Gullenbursty. That's a funny sounding enemy. A wild boar, faster than any curse. Gullenbursty is docile until he spots an enemy, upon which he bounds forward like a juggernaut. He's said to have been created by the dwarves Brocker and Atri. This, uh, this D pad is not quite uh, responding tonight. To my will of gamering. Oh, you can scan the reliefs. Wait. Oh no, that's that's this in the background. Thought to be a statue of Odin, the supreme deity of the Norse mythology pantheon. However, in reality, Odin is the name of the overseeing organization of the Divine Fortress. As such, there are many statues of Odin and countless tales of him in Norse mythology. Too many, in fact, to credibly attribute to a single deity. Interesting. So we have our uh, we have our Illuminati here, the Norse Illuminati. <laughs> this is the Divine Fortress. The fortress was built for the purpose of sealing away the Vanir, a race born of us six children, and one of us which would see the world destroyed. The hall in which they live is sealed off by a gate. We Aesir, also of the six children, have been sealed inside Eglana for continuing battle with the Vanir. No one here wishes for the end of the world. Alright, he's just repeating. Don't do anything stupid. I'll try not to. Hermod. A member of the Odin, the Aesir's ruling party. His brother was killed by the trickster of Akerso. To save him, Hermod journeyed into the underworld alone, seeking the help of hell. Unlock the thing. What is contained within? Mr. Wild Boar. Valhalla lies beyond the gate, deep in the Divine Fortress. We of Odin sealed it behind that gate. Do not approach unless you pine for the end. Oh, okay, we got the map of the Divine Fortress. That's nice. Let's see. This looks like something I can shoot if I, uh, if I can aim properly. Yes! Ow. Vodian Vodianoi. That was the name of a promoted monster in disguise. 
A water spirit that takes the form of a frog. He is old and very slow, but still leaps like a frog. Aim and shoot. Vitra, the cool. No, Vritra, the calamity of the Vanir's creation. Created to overturn the prescripts at the end. It slumbers in an Ankh, storing energy until that day arrives. It's like our uh, next boss. This is the Divine Fortress, where the Aesir preside over their Vanir captives. Seems like a good opportunity to save. And now we can just get back to the roots whenever we want to, which is nice. And then we come back here whenever we want to, which is equally nice. Four fairies live on within Ytherso. The power will be revealed to those who obtain the Fairy King's grace. The light of the fairies will summon a door. So, we met the uh, Fairy King, Queen, and now we're going to meet the Fairy King. What are you? Oh. Doklo. Dokafar. A fairy! Dot, dot, dot. Fairies? Investigating these ruins would be a lot easier if they lent you their powers. They've got ruin. They've got various powers, like health restoration. There were fairies in the ruins of La Milana, but those were created with the Tree of Life, a machine used to create life itself. I heard from the Fairy Queen that the originals from which they were copied are trapped inside Eglana. It appears we just summoned one of them by accident. So yeah, we got a we got a health fairy. That's nice. Bad. Seeing lots of origin seals uh, right now. What's this tablet have to say? The soul gate is sealed by the souls of those who keep guard. Extinguish the lights of souls etched above the gate. Offer as many guardians lives as lights. Then lo, the game will open. My phone just went off. Okay, that unveiled that. What? How do we? Uh, do we need to seal those in that chest? Is that the puzzle? Not the most friendly ghosts, are they? Got some uh, shurikens here. I mean, maybe I could be using my, uh, my shurikens or buckler a little better. Who are you? You have no place here. Get out. A-Tree is a blacksmith, apparently. Fairy, fallen into darkness. She's able to use some storm-based magic. Duck Alfar was one of the Alpha, put under a curse by the Vanir, so they might make use of her talents in battle. The younger brother of the genius smithing duo. He appears to be slightly more reasonable than his brother, but still has no interest outside of making things. Oh, wow. Get out. Okay. Atri and Brocker. Didn't we hear about them at some point? One of the Ennead tribe of fifth children. Brocker hated his family and now lives in the Divine Fortress. A genius of smithing, he has created many artifacts, though he is not one to be dependent upon. Mm -hmm. I think we can delete that. Tusker gnaws on the roots before heading to the treetop. Interesting. Thank you. 
Alright, I don't really know where to go from here. Uh, there seems to be a gate down there leading somewhere. If anyone's guess as to how you would get down there, though. Actually, can I go up this way? Indeed, and there's a puzzle for it. In Valhalla, there's a pond of poison water. The Vanir sunk their treasure in its tainted depths. Okay, we might have to go to Valhalla at some point then. The Lippery Path. Valkyrie! Demi goddesses who gather the spirits of the Iron Jar, powerful warriors who have summoned at the Valkyrie's command. It's said that Valkyries who have made great achievements are elevated to an even higher state of existence. You should pick the right equipment for the job. Always prepare for the worst. Like me, never caught wearing anything but my trusty old banana hammock. I made it this far in life with this philosophy, so trust me on this one. Let's keep exploring a little bit more. Don't particularly know where I'm going, but uh, that's beside the point! I mean, it wouldn't be exploring if you did know where you were going, right? Ow. That boar is just super in the way. This, uh, this platform is uh, recessed into the wall. That's interesting. I have heard that the trickster of Ygrisil has been freed. I saw a light fly toward Valhalla. I believe he came for the purpose of reawakening Vritra. Our own race created this disaster. It's the beginning of the end. Good. <laughs> Tyr, a member of the Odin. Tyr is a genius swordsman hailed as a god of war. His right arm was gnawed off when he sealed away Fenrir, a monster born to the trickster of Yggdrasil. We already killed Fenrir. Or, no, we didn't. That was Fafnir. Sir. The migratory ravens, Hugin and Munin, Odin's servants and protectors of a sigil. Sounds like a couple of uh, mini bosses. Alright, let's see what's up here. Hugin and Munin! Okay, killed one of them. Let's uh, get these coins before they fade out. The Origin Sigil! Awesome! So yeah, you can use that with these, and they're like keys to many locks. A very nice thing to get. Alright, that's what this does. So yeah, we have the Origin Sigil. Uh, sounds like an excellent place to end things off. So let's head back to the Village of Departure. Uh, we shall heal, talk with Zelpud, and then we can uh, end things off. Sixty-nine 
59 coins. I uh, don't think there's anything I can buy with that, but that's fine. You are dead to me, Zelda. 